this is saral here and uh, today i am going to present uh, one of the best thing that i have learned about spring boot and it has been going to ask in a lot of uh, interviews it's like spring boot conditional beans so spring boot conditional beans i mean to say i am going to refer this conditional property and conditional on missing bean property so i am going to uh, present you very short program example i don't believe in writing code for you because ultimately that will make a video too long so just to grasp you it's a just a very short project that i have developed it contains uh, uh, two sub packages and one runner class okay and uh, one main application class inside bean there is an interface and there are two classes that is implementing it under some configuration there is a configuration but before i i bring highlight to you i must tell you uh, that spring boot conditional beans are there and it's a popular application for creating an enterprise framework as we already know about spring boot conditional annotation which i am trying to focus so i'm trying to focus on this conditional annotation that indicates that component is registered is or is only registered into the application context and all the specific conditions do match okay so component will be get registered into the application context when all the specified condition match so here you can see that i have defined two property files one is <coughs> and i have just close of the banner i don't want because to show you out the output main concern is this one where i'm uh, trying to show you that i have make in bean this is a configuration file where i'm manually uh, i have put up at the rate configuration so spring whenever the application will start the spring will look for this configuration annotation it will look for the two beans that are being created manually and within these beans i have defined a property called welcome bean enabled and i am checking that its value is true or not so i have defined this here as it true so once you will set it value as it true this condition will get conditional will get in a positive way and it will print a message called welcome just IntelliJ gives you a good way of uh, generating a class diagram. So let me show you out how the Java class diagram is like this. Uh, so let's go uh, to the below configuration. Uh, this is the whole overall Spring uh, document it has created. But my concern is not about this class. It has created about this class. So I let me welcome you out to you to show you of the welcome messages. So this is an interface. Welcome messages there and another class is there so let creates a diagram of this it is showing you the two diagrams okay and on the component level also it has shown you the diagrams so these are the some spring uh, uh, diagrams that it is sh showing you okay uh, let me analyze uh, spring module dependency okay no problem so point is an interface it shows you intellij idi 2020 that two implementations are there one is generic message one is welcome message there is a configuration file within the configuration file we are reading the property from the property files customize property checking the condition is it true or false or not and there is one more property that says that it will get loaded if there is no other beans of this type is present so this earlier conditional property annotation used to create a spring bin depending upon the configuration of property that we have referred and if that property is set to false so this condition will not match and this will rise on to the conditional on missing this will be only loaded by spring if there is no other bean of the type present in the context means no other bean type is present in the context only this will get loaded so this is just i have uh, taught you about this and i have explained you my uh, project structure uh, main questions that come uh, about it i have already explained you so it's time it's time to run the application so i have created my runner a command line runner i have injected my interfaces or you can see when i have auto wired the same and i am saying key which which message we need get initialized either welcome message or a generic message and i have make one uh, class so let me guys run it to show you out the output so let's wait it is evaluating here and it has started let's see what comes the message it comes as a welcome why it comes as a welcome because in my application properties i have set it as a true and in the configuration this condition get match so this condition get called here okay so let me make it out is a false here let's see what happened 
if I try to run this application once again, let's see, it's getting initialized and let's see what happens. Whoa, so this prints today is a beautiful day. Reason is this is false and it goes into the application configuration. Conditional or property is not initialized. It is set to false. It looks for the other conditional property with regard to this. Uh, oh, sorry, it try to look the other conditional property annotations with regard to this property. There is nothing. So by default, this get loaded if there is no other bean of time is present because this is the default one and it gives me the output of this. So guys, I hope you are clear about all the conditional properties, how the Spring Framework works, how the application properties, you can make it out and you can inject it out your way. So guys, if you get it time, so do visit to my LinkedIn profile. If you have any of your queries, uh, do visit it, uh, check it out and, and uh, let me know your queries. And uh, I am answering and I'm quite active here in blocking and posting all the small posts that help you to crack your interviews. And uh, I will be uploading this code on the GitHub to you to do um, further experiments that you wanted to go. So thank you. Thanks guys. Uh, watching my video. Keep subscribing my channel and more videos to come. Thank you.